So today in House Flipper 2, I'm gonna buy myself a new house and make a lot of money doing so. Which one should we go with? The lavender house? The boo bungalow? This one's over the garage. But I only have 92,000. We need some money to fix it up too. Maybe we should start with this little bungalow. It doesn't look so bad inside. Peaceful neighborhood, only 400 meters squared. Little refresh. Let's go for that one. And see what kind of mess we got ourselves into. You know what? It's not terrible. It just needs a little bit of a lawn mowing. And we do that with the selling tool for some reason. I mean, there's hundreds of lawn mowing simulator games. We could probably just have added some of that to this one. I could straight up just sell the tree for $800. I don't think that's how tree selling works. Oh, but there is some broken down steps here that we'll have to fix up. We can sell the garbage can, but we're going to need that. So let's open it up open and start yeeting stuff into it. All right, nasty house. What do we have inside here? You know what? I kind of like the idea of just selling everything before we start fixing it. They even left their laundry hanging up. And a moldy piece of bread on the table. That's fantastic. Thank you, previous owners. I'll be honest too. I'm not a huge fan of these way super tall cabinets. They don't really make sense. You can never reach up to them. But I sold everything that we don't really need in here, except that rug, which we're going to sell in just a second. It just doesn't know that its time is limited. Hello, little rug. I got to clean up the garbage and then we're taking you out to the trash too. Actually, you know what? Made $21 on it. Thank you, Facebook Marketplace. Now, the real question is, do we just clean up everything in here? Or do we go sell stuff in other rooms? Ah! Fine, let's just go clean up all the trash in the other rooms. I gotta remember that this is a laundry room. Oh, they have another garbage can here. Why? You know what? It's not actually so bad back here. We don't really have to do much to this room except, you know, straight up get rid of all the slime on the walls. This place, oh, it does have a bedroom. I was like, uh, where's the bedroom at? Oh, what a dark dungeon this thing is. Gross. Yep. We're going scorched earth, selling everything. Up, oh, even the nasty soap. Like, that's a real question. If soap falls on the ground, is the ground clean or does the soap get dirty? Hmm. I've never figured it out. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the destroying tools because if I did, that wall would go down, but it's time to scrub. We're gonna scrub all these stains away. Oh, even the weird mold stuff on the ground. Hope this guy's wearing a mask right now. And this oven is not getting clean. So it's going the way of the dinosaurs. And if some of you are suggesting that I don't need to wipe this off, I just need to paint over it, you're a monster. I know it might be a video game and we can do that, but you never want to cover up mold and stuff with paint. It'll like seep through it and get the paint all peely and gross. I hate to do this too, but that door is nasty. We're just going to sell the kitchen or the front door. Do I want to sell these? They're kind of gross too. Ah, uh, you know what? Sometimes when you're flipping, you just got to flip it right. That way we can find the mold behind the counters. I didn't realize how bad this room was. <laughs> there is just grime everywhere. Like the entire ceiling is rotting and falling apart. Okay, main room. Are you clean? Not yet. You will be in a second. Looks like main room is clean. We're going to sell that radiator too and start cleaning the moldy, nasty floor. Look at this. Watch this. The backside of the door even has slime on it. Ah! Okay, I'm going to sell that door. You know what? <laughs> and the doors are, you know, all the doors are going to go away. We're, we're redoing the woodwork in here. Oh, that's such a bad idea. Those are so expensive. Okay, I think I did it. I think the house is clean inside. Thankfully, it's just a small house. Ooh. Oh, that's wallpaper. That would be cool for a bathroom floor. Let's see what we can get. Panels, tiles, tiles. Uh, bathroom floor. Rainbow? Should we go with marble tile floor? I really don't know how much money it costs, but it's going to be worth it. That looks so much better already. Let's get some wall tiles going on. I want those subway tiles. And we'll place them. I should probably just go up that high. That looks really nice. We're going to put more of these down here. I know we don't have to, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now to go with that, we're going to add white paint to the walls. Some of you might cringe with this, but I'm the one recording this video. You'll have to let me know in the comments what color you would have painted this bathroom. But I'm kind of going with like a clean look in this house. So it's so small. I want to open up the lighting a little bit. Now, if you were really flipping a house, you would paint before you did the tile. Because if you were a dingus like me, you would drop the paint on the tile and make everything broken and bad and sad in the real life. Thankfully, this is a video game. And that's the last of the paint in here. That is so much brighter now. Cool. Oh, I can also get a panini. I'm actually really hungry right now, like in real life. I don't know why. I had the same breakfast I have every day and like I'm hungry now. Do we make these rooms white as well? That's the real question. I think I might. Actually, this blue is kind of nice. Let's see if we can get a little bit lighter blue. You know what? 
that paint color actually works. I think it's the flooring that's the problem. Some nice neutral wood color might be good. Try that out. Please don't be dark. No, I don't want it that color. I wanted the light one that was in the picture. That one's dark. This one's not. We'll go with this one. And I'm gonna sell this just in case I get the dumps. Okay, this will work. I think I might do the whole floor in that. That looks way cleaner. All right, we're gonna do this bedroom too. Get rid of the dungeon feel to it. Yep, that opens it up a lot. I do like this light blue. I'm trying to figure out what paint color to go in here. Maybe we'll do the bedroom first. We have a purple fade, pink, orange, yellow. There's a cyan fade. That could be okay. Might be a little dark. Maybe that's what this room is. And, uh, sure. Ooh, here's an idea. How about we do one accent wall of this blue? But that's usually not, you usually do an end wall. Ah, eh, we can try it. We'll see. Oh, cool. I got a new painting perk. I wonder what that's gonna do for me. We'll check it out right now. Perks. Painting. A uh, roller of tomorrow. Oh, yes, to get a bigger roller. That's great. How do I change? Oh, dirty McGurdy. This makes it so much faster to paint all this garbage. Oh, yeah. That's literally nine times faster. Hot dang. But it runs out of paint so much quicker, too. There we go. All right. I kind of like the idea of having one accent wall. I'm not set on that blue. If you guys have a different idea, you have to let me know in the comments. I like that darker blue over there, that cobalt. Uh, do I want to, do I want to redo it? You know what I really wish is just there was a color picker that you could just pick it up. I don't want one of these. I want something different. Oh, sweet jerkins. There's a crocodile and turtle wallpaper. <laughs> and there's that ugly parakeet one. You know what? This might be better. Hold on. I want it to be, can I change it to blue? No, that's black. I don't want that. There we go. Okay, we have a drab. Let's get, okay, that's almost a bathroom color. Maybe not. I can change it. Oh, Okay, I figured it out. Yeah, that's totally a color I was hoping that we'd get in the bathroom or bedroom here. So let's redo this wall really quick. And now we can really fast with this new roller. It's just a subtle change, but it looks a lot better. Something strangely satisfying about painting a wall that's 20 feet away. Uh, no, I, can, no. it, 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 <laughs> I can't, oh, no. there it goes. Oh, I'm out of paint. And now my other problem is that I'm out of wall to paint, but I will put in some subway tile right through here because I would like to put in the cabinets next. Let's sell off all of these. I like that. I think that looks good. It's nice and sharp and, and bright and sunny feeling. So I think we should start with doors and then getting exterior odds and ends. We need interior. That's actually kind of neat. Where's the interior doors? Door Whitney. Hey, you know what? That actually works. I feel like that works pretty well. Do we want to flip it though? Yeah. Inside so it folds to the right. Okay. And then we want this one to open. Can you, can I just... I can't flip it. I want it to open this, can it, can you, no, that's not, whatever. You don't want a door to open that. You want it to, I don't know how to change it. Now we will need a new front entryway door. We could maybe go with this one. Kind of looks the same, uh, except it's not nearly wide enough. And I can't build walls yet. Okay, that one does fit. It actually kind of looks nice. Kind of like that with the blue. It's amazing how much brighter this place is. My goodness, you can turn on the lights. Yeah, that light kind of sucks. This one doesn't have a light switch. <laughs> I think there is a way to, to add them in the game. I don't really want to do that though. Oh yeah, these are looking so much cleaner. So let's start in the bedroom. We need beds. Double, double bed Camden? I like that. <laughs> oh, it's a kid's bed. Okay, that is too white on white. We need to change maybe the pillows. Let's try the duvet first to more of a blue. That looks pretty good to me. Kind of matches the wall a little bit. And we'll get matching end tables. And by matching, I mean they need to match the rest of the furniture. So we're gonna have to go ahead and sell those. They were a custom order. They're probably expensive. And a nice world map behind it. I think that kind of fits the room too. We gotta let the new owners decorate a little bit on their own as well. All right, room number one complete, bathroom time. So this room has a window in it, meaning we can't really put in a, a shower stall. They just don't fit, but a nice tub under that window might be good. Just have to find the right one. Okay, we can put that in there and then paint it, or we can put tile on it. Too bad I sold all my subway tile. Thankfully, I know where to get more. Ta-da! That's a lot of subway tile. So it's going away. And we'll put an actual tub in instead. Got a sink and a toilet. Let's put in a mirror just like so. All right. I feel like the bathroom can be complete. We need the washing machine and the matching dryer. We'll put in a matching shelf there so we can store our like laundry detergent. Cool. We don't need anything in this storage room back here either. 
So those two rooms are done. And now the main room. Should we do the kitchen first or the, yeah, let's do the kitchen last. So I think if I change this a little bit to match the rest of everything, it should look pretty good. That ottoman in the middle doesn't match. Oh, get rid of it. But now it does. Okay, that's all right. I don't like the, the options of all of the, the colors in here or all of the designs, but it'll work. I mean, we're just staging it for the new owners, right? Tables, we need an entertainment center. This is really annoying too. I can't get this TV centered on here. And maybe it would just unsnap to grid. Yeah, that works better. Okay, that's not so bad. I also feel like I've said the term not so bad like 75 times. Okay, shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. I'll we'll put that on the wall up in here. We could commit one of the most heinous crimes known to mankind. Put up a live, laugh, love sign about right you? above the... Oh, I can't do it. Woo! Although I do kind of like having a clock up there. Maybe maybe a clock over here instead. That's pretty good. I do wish there were more options for the, uh, the decor in here too. I like that. I mean, it's a little bit plain. Feels a bit like a doctor's office that doesn't match properly. Whatever. Now is when we make the magic happen. Fixing up the kitchen. Usually this takes uh, like a really long time but we're just gonna kind of go with it. I might want to put the fridge. I don't know. We need a kitchen table in here too. Home appliances. Let's see what we can get for a fridge. Jacob, okay. We might put that over in this corner. We'll put it in our oven right about there. We're gonna have to switch that over. Do we want to put the oven next to the fridge? Maybe. We need a dishwasher too. All right, dishwasher next to fridge. We'll put the induction stove top on there and it fits. Okay, that looks pretty good. We have to get a sink in here, meaning that I might wanna just sell that one and then we can move this one in right here. There we go. That's a fine looking kitchen. All righty, it's completed. I have flipped the house mostly. Um, I don't like that cabinet, but I couldn't fit anything else in there. One last check in the bedroom. That looks so much better than the nasty one it used to. Bathrooms needs the light switch that I have to edit the wiring. My goodness. There we go, lights are on. Look at me, I'm doing the thing. Okay, that worked really good. This back room looks nice in here. Kitchen's going nice. And I tell you what, my friends, let us sell this now at the auction house. I can put it up for auction. Okay, I bought it for 47. I sold 11 and my renovation cost was 30,000. Can I make 64,000 back off of this? Oh boy, come on. 72, profit at eight. Nah, that's not a huge amount. I could have done odds and ends jobs in the hour that it took me to do that. I'm gonna cancel the auction. Ooh, all right, confirm that. Put it up for auction again. All right, Thea, 70. Okay, let's cancel one more time and we'll put it up again. Valentina, I know you want it. I think it's getting more expensive every time. I mean, it is an auction, right? Right, is it just a one buyer auction? Cause I mean, I made $7,000 on it. I'm going for it. We'll sell it. All right. We made $7,000 on that house. And I kind of wish I made a little bit more from it. But you guys will have to let me know which house that we should flip next. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all my patrons and channel members, including Spider Sax, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Brett, Dalton C, Scanner D, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Please, Fussy Badge, Missing Sniper, Blank Hewitt, Tyler J, Nitro VR, Nitrox, Wyatt H, Otto Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippias, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, Retla Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Baxter, Ral, VC Engineer, Scars Marex, Spencer T, Whiskey, and YH. 